but yeah, that guy looks like he has an electric bike. There's that tree. All right, I'm gonna share something with you. It's a little embarrassing. Hey, I got a really good joke for you, okay? I got a really good joke for you. Oh! Alright everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. I am uh, <laughs> out of the pool, obviously. I'm not going to stop by the... Uh, I'm not going to stop by... I'm not going to stop by the... Uh, the clubhouse. Because I'm ready to go home. That was nice. I like the pool. I enjoy it. The problem is because of the heavy rain, there's a lot of mosquitoes. I just got like, I was just sitting around and I think I got stung in the neck and on the arm because they feel itchy. Now I'm wearing long sleeve and compression tights and a buff. And if you're wondering why I wear, what do I wear all this stuff? Why do you wear all that? What's the point? <laughs> the comments go crazy sometimes. Dude, you're weird. Why you wear all that? Why? Why? Well, I, I wear it mainly, mainly because environmental. So, um, first of all, it's uh, especially in the summer, very hot. So protect my skin. All right. And uh, the other thing is when I go in the pool with all this stuff. My clothes are damp, but they're very breathable, and it creates a uh, layer of uh, evaporation. And when things evaporate, they cool down, and so I have a layer of a cooling effect. And uh, last, but always, it protects me from the bugs. So, yeah, there's a, a layer of uh, protection from bugs. And also, the buff, you know when you talk and everything, you're riding really fast, and uh, you had some bug fly in your mouth, well, you, you let me know. Let me know if that's uh, something you enjoy. Because if you do, then by all means, just ride your bike really fast while you're while you're making a bike vlog, you know, and enjoy the great protein that you're getting. I hear I hear bugs are the next thing to replace beef. If you're if you're that kind of person, by all means, enjoy. Bon appetit. Anyways. So before I begin my ride, which I already did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me enjoy, let me know if you enjoy the video. You got any uh, improvements you want me to make? I'll consider it. And also consider joining membership. Early content. You get access to early content. You get your questions answered and. And possibly you can help me make videos. Almost like sponsorship level video kind of type thing. Anyways, is school out already? I think this is the last week of school or 
Is it next week? Oh, anyway, school is almost over. School is so close to being over. School is close to being over, everybody. So, summertime is going to be starting here. Looks like school is out. I must have enjoyed myself a lot at the pool. Oh no, they stopped the traffic. They stopped traffic here. I guess, I guess someone's crossing the crosswalk. Oh, I gotta apply the brakes. I gotta apply the brakes. All right. Yeah, high school is out. Some of these kids will be graduating. Isn't that crazy? My, my oldest is uh, one year. One more year, she's graduated. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you know, you know, time flies so fast. Your kids grow up so fast. Next thing that you know, they're coming out of your wife or your girlfriend or whatever, or coming out of you. Whoever, I don't know who's watching. And then, pa-pow! They're of age. They're of age. It's kind of crazy to think about that. Oh! The UPS, USPS brake check me. I could probably cut in front of everybody. I probably can, but I don't see the point. I just don't see the point in doing so. Oh, I, I see what's going on. It's the fish guy. It's the boat. I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna ride it. It's the uh, lake management. They just decided to stop right here for some reason, whatever the reason may be. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Nobody goes this way. That's what I like about it. Well, not nobody. Most people don't go this way. I do because uh, I want a bike. I want to go where there's less traffic. That's what it would be like if you had a electric bike in the city. All that, all that, all that power that you have, what a waste. You're just like gonna be in traffic. Yeah, you're gonna go 35 miles an hour. But you, but if you think about it, cars go even slower during traffic. And let me tell you, let me tell you, cars, the traffic hasn't really returned yet, 100%. I would say it's like 70%. I would say it's like maybe 70%, at least around here. It has increased since they lifted some of the, uh, you know, restrictions. And they're starting to open up. But soon as, as soon as cars come back online, right, traffic comes back. Yeah, maybe, maybe you'll, maybe you'll have an advantage, but you're not going to be going as fast as you think. You got to just go with the flow of traffic. Whether you have a car, you have a bike, you have a motorcycle, a scooter, a skateboard, electric skateboard, one wheel, it doesn't matter. You're not going to go faster than the flow of traffic, okay? So the flow of traffic is 20, 10 miles an hour, guess what? That's how fast you'll be going. You're not going to, you're, you're 50 mile an hour electric bicycle <laughs> electric bicycle it's not gonna get you there any faster that's the irony of this whole that's that's you know that there are just some people just have misconceptions yes you'll get there faster than a car or a bus but are you gonna get there any faster than 
an electric bicycle than other electric bicycles. If you're trying to, if you just can't go faster than the flow of traffic, bike traffic or whatever it may be, you're only saving yourself like a couple minutes, maybe. Because you're not going to be riding your bike like two hours a day. Okay, you know, it, it's just, well, I don't think you're going to be commuting on your electric bike like over 100 miles. And, you know, in reality, some people commute 100 miles or even more. I don't know why when they could uh, work from home now these days. So, and then you have to, and on top of that, people are working from home. It's very common now. So, do you need to commute to work when you're working from home? No. You probably want an electric bike to get out of your house because you're going to get fatigued from being at it. At, uh, Fatigue. Anyways, I'm at a, I'm at the crosswalk. Let's see if I can make it cross alive. Hey, I got a really good joke for you. Okay, I got a really good joke for you. Why? Why did the chicken cross the road? Thank you. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. You know, I never got that joke until I really thought about it. <laughs> it really is a funny joke. All right. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the chicken joke. The world's funniest joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I, I'm having a good time. You know what? When you ride... Well, I, I have an electric bike, but when you ride your electric bike outside, you go to the pool, you relax, you have a great time, you get cooled off. I'm wearing my Flexi Free Plus. I'm actually listening to my Power Beats Pro, listening to some music. Oh man, you're happy. You're happy. Life is great. Life is wonderful. And that's what an e bike can offer you. It's not about how fast you go, or it could be. Sometimes it is. But people put too much emphasis on the technicals and not a lot of emphasis on the joy and the benefits of riding a bicycle. And if you have like a physical condition, you know, it, it brings, it does allow you to have an ability to do things that you couldn't probably wouldn't do otherwise. But even then, if you, even if you don't have any like physical disability or condition, just riding an electric bike is just, in my opinion, way more fun than riding your non-electric bike. That's, that's just my opinion. I own an electric bike. I've ridden non-electric bikes. And I have to tell you, electric bikes are more fun. More fun. They really are. I think they're, I, I prefer a bicycle, something I can sit on and pedal just for redundancy. You know, if you run out of uh, battery power, you can, you know, pedal, you can pedal. Try to get, try to get an electric bike that has gears. All right. But yeah, you can pedal and, uh, you know, I think this is a very efficient mode. Bicycles, bicycles have been proven to be a very efficient mode of transportation. And having an electric bicycle, a, a bicycle, not a electric moped or 
an electric motorcycle that has pedals on it, but an electric bicycle is is really beneficial. Really, it gets you out there more. You do more things. It's enjoyable. And when you do get tired, you can just throttle. Here, I'll just throttle from this point on. My back is feeling a lot better. All right, I'm gonna share something with you. It's a little embarrassing, but I will share because I think it may help people out there, all right, who have lower back pain, lower SI joint injury. At least in my case, maybe it will help you. But I was doing some, I've been doing exercises, stretches, stuff like that to, you know, alleviate some of my uh, sacroiliac joint pain. And I'm doing all these things uh, and just on my own. I haven't gone to the doctor yet, okay? So this is not professional advice. I'm just telling you my experience. But uh, I started, I've been doing this exercise where I get on my stomach and I bend my knee and I put my heels together and, um, and, I, and I compress my heels. I push my heels against each other and it kind of works my lower pelvis muscles and stuff like that. So I've been like kind of just working out the muscles, stretching the muscles around my butt, my lower pelvis, basically around your balls and your anus. That, that guy is uh, shadow boxing, listening to some music. So, uh, you know, that's what I've been doing, right? And so sometimes I get a little lazy, all right? I, I, I do have a inversion table, so, but sometimes I get a little lazy. I don't want to get out of bed. And so I tried doing some of these exercises in bed and I did some kind of, I did some modifications based on how I feel, like the joint pain, how, you know, how it feels. And I found this exercise to be very useful and I'm sharing it with you. So please don't, it's a little embarrassing, but I think it's going to help you. Let me slow down here. Okay, I'm going to wait for this uh, car. I'm going to just throttle because I want to talk. All right, so uh, normally I would get on my stomach, bend my knees, like I'm kind of like skydiving, if that makes sense. But I, and then I would like put my heel together and press and that works my lower pelvis muscles, you know, the, the basically where your balls and your anus is, like work out, work those muscles out. Because I had coccidinia because of my SI joint pain, all this lower back pain and everything. Just, so I've been doing these exercises, but so sometimes I get lazy and I just do them in bed because I've been laying in bed for a while because of my lower back pain. So I get on my stomach and I do like, I do all these other things like, uh, like uh, I don't know, dog style, cat, whatever, yoga stuff. Well, I found this exercise to be very useful. And so I started, I got on my, I'm on my stomach and I'm doing like this crouching cat or dog or whatever it is, some kind of yoga pose at the same time while on my knees and all that stuff. And another thing I've been doing is like pelvis thrust, you, you know, to, to kind of give me more mobility. I do pelvic thrust. So I decided to do this combination of pelvic thrusting on, all, on my fours. It's almost like I'm doing a missionary. There's a big school bus behind me. <laughs> There's like a big school bus behind me scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> the school bus has passed me. Okay, now I'm back on throttle. So, uh, so, and so I, I did this exercise and it's basically me dry humping the bed, all right? It sounds perverted, it sounds gross. I have to do this when my wife leaves. Uh, but my wife did leave and I decided to do this exercise. And, uh, Oh my goodness, my SI joint felt a lot better the day after. All right, I don't know what I, like you gotta exercise the joint, you gotta move it around. So that's why I'm doing the pelvic thrust. But doing this like, 
you know, crouching tiger, cat, dog, whatever, you know, working the pelvis muscles the, and your butt muscles, just, just working all those muscles or your lower, lower floor pelvis muscles. So I'm doing all this and it's basically me like doing it missionary, but I'm bending forward. It's, it's like I'm dry humping the bed, basically. That's what it, that's the best way I can describe it. But I'm not like on the bed. I'm, I'm like, I'm doing a push up. Okay, so, but I'm on my knees and I'm like humping. I, I, I got this. Well, there's, there's that tree. Hopefully I, I can show it to you. But that guy's not pedaling either. And he's riding. He, maybe he has an electric bike. He might have an electric bike. He hasn't been pedaling. I don't know if you can see that guy. I'll pedal. I'll start pedaling now. But yeah, that guy looks like he has an electric bike. Looks uh, looks homemade. I see the hub. I see the hub motor in the back. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, he, I see his display center console. I don't know what he's riding. It looks like it's homemade. Oh no, no, it, he has a battery. I see the battery's vertical. It's kind of interesting. Whatever he has, another electric bike user. All right. So, so <laughs> I'm dry humping this bed, right? I'm dry humping this bed, and uh, he hasn't seen me yet. So I'm dry humping this bed. Hey. <laughs> He finally seen me. I gave him a thumbs up. He gave me a thumbs up. So I'm dry humping this bed. And uh, my SI joint is like almost 80% like pain free. It's amazing. It's 80% pain free. So it's 80% 80, 80 pain free. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so. But it's embarrassing to do because what if my wife walks in there, right? What if my wife walks in and she sees me like doing this? I'm, I'm saying it's an exercise. It really is. It's a combination of some kind of yoga, crouching tiger, humping dog, you know, and I'm thrusting my pelvis, you know, exercise. It, it looks like I'm dry humping the bed. <laughs> You know, it's kind of it's a little embarrassing because well, I, if my wife walks in there and I'm doing this, she's gonna be like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> you know, and I'll be like, "I'll be like, um, um <laughs> I guess I can tell her I'm doing an exercise, but like, if you walk on, if you walked into somebody, <laughs> if you walked into somebody doing that, and they told you it's an exercise for their SI joint pain." You know, I, I'm sure you would give them benefit of the doubt, but at the same time, in the back of your mind, you'd be thinking, what a pervert. Oh, what a pervert. This guy is dry humping the bed. So, <laughs> but I do, I did want to share that with you. So I did want to share that with you because it, it has reduced a lot of my pain, like 80% of the pain. I'm feeling a lot better. There's still that, that 20 to 10% pain remaining. I don't know if that's just, in, you know, I just have to deal with it. It's just a healing process of time. But, you know, I'm going to continue to do that exercise because, wow, it's amazing. Like, after that, after the day after I did that, I felt a lot better. A lot better. I felt a lot better. Like, a lot. And so... It works. It works. As perverted as it looks, as perverted as it looks, it worked for me and my SI joint pain feels a lot better. Right, a, lot, a lot of people, a lot of people are out right now. They're enjoying the sun. I don't blame them. And I'm all dry. <laughs> I was all wet from being in the pool. I soaked myself in the pool. Anyways, please like, share, comment. If you if you watch this this far, man, you gotta you gotta consider joining the membership. And like I said, if you want some exclusive content like uh, the how I set up my audio, because a lot of people tell me I have great audio, uh, I might do an exclusive members only content. Anyways, uh, please like, share, 
See y'all later. Bye.